Welcome back children. This is our third video for economy and occupation. And in the last video, we studied about some of the similarities and differences in the economy of India and Brazil. And I had left you with this question. Okay, though the per capita, though the national income of India is higher than that of Brazil. If you look at this graph here, India which is shown in red has a higher national income than that of Brazil which is shown in blue. But yet the per capita income of India is lower than that of Brazil. Okay, so let's understand what is national income. When we say GNP or GDP, gross domestic product or gross national income, we are talking about the total income of the country. Okay, and in India we find the total income is much higher than that of Brazil. But what is the per capita income then? When we say per capita income, we have to divide the total income by total population. So now you understand okay the total population of brazil is much lower and therefore when we talk about though the gnp is lower than india we find the per capita income of brazil becoming higher now i'll give you a simple example okay we have a family of two people and they are earning 10000 okay and so the gross family income becomes 10000 and per capita income 10,000 divided by two people so each one gets 5,000 on the other hand we have another family with 10 people and the salary is the same 10,000 so the GNP is the same okay of 10,000 but now when we divide it with 10 people so we find the per capita income becoming just 1,000 even if that second family had to earn say 20,000 Okay, 20,000 divided by 10 people. Again, the per capita income is just 2,000. So that's how we, that is the reason why, because of the huge population of India, we find that though our GNP, gross income, is much higher than that of Brazil, but per capita income is much lower than that of Brazil. Okay, because of the huge population. Now on page 53, you have a little activity to be done where you need to draw a polyline graph. Polyline graph means a multiple bar, sorry, multiple line graph. And you need to use technology to draw this graph. How will you do that? It's very, very simple. In PowerPoint, okay, there's an option of insert charts. In charts, you have to select the type of chart you want, the type of graph you want. So there you select a multi-line graph and then only the table will look a little different now immediately uh, an excel sheet opens up and in the excel sheet now what you will do is in the columns on the top okay instead of the years now sorry uh, instead of the years okay just a minute <coughs> Okay, instead of the years on the top, here you will write on in the column, you will write Brazil here, India here and USA here. And in the rows, you will write 1960, 1980, 2000, 2016. And below Brazil, write 240, 2010, 3060 and 8840. Below India, you will write 90, 280, 450, 1680. And below USA, you will write 3250, 14,230, 37,470, and 56,280. That's it. Close the uh, Excel sheet which opens up and your graph is done. Okay, then you can format it. You can put labels. Okay, you can change the color by clicking on the line. And you can definitely have fun making the simple line graph. So here I have made this uh, polyline graph using internet, uh, sorry, using PowerPoint. Okay, in fact, all my graphs and charts as well, I have done in the similar way by using internet. Okay, so now you see here, there are a few questions which you need to see. Now, this is the uh, total gross income GDP of USA which is shown in green then you have the GDP of India shown in red and the gross GDP of Brazil shown in blue 
and you find that the GDP of India is more than that of Brazil. But USA is far ahead. And therefore, what, what type of economy does USA have? It is a developed economy. We are way behind USA. Okay, what could be the reasons? So we need to analyze the graph. Let's understand what could be the reason. From the graph, it's very clear that USA is a developing country. It is far ahead of India and Brazil. What are the reasons? So some of the reasons are they have well-educated population. Their standard of education is very high. The government spends a lot of money on education and research. Okay, it has many patents. So many people are ready to invest money in research okay and education so if somebody comes up with a new technology there are many people who are ready to offer the capital that is required so they have many patents modern technology is used there okay and also they have mechanical strength most of the work is mechanized even agriculture okay so therefore they are developed nations or a developed country india and brazil are considered as developing though we are way behind usa but we are making an attempt to develop okay we are not stagnant economy and therefore we say that ours brazil's as well as ours is a developing economy the national per capita income of our countries is definitely low India's per capita income is even lower than that of Brazil. I have just explained to you though our national income is higher than that of Brazil. Now think about it. This is not for 2020-21 but I would like to explain because they are all related to the chapter. Which type of occupation gives a boost to the development of a country's economy? Okay, when we looked at the charts, we realized that USA, even Brazil, has more of tertiary occupations. But will tertiary occupation give a boost to the development? Not really. Okay, for development, we need industrialization and industrialization comes under secondary occupations. Because if industry is developed, then you will have product too uh, for consumers. Okay, so shops, businesses, banks, insurance, all these will come up. So therefore, we realize that for development of any country, industrialization is a must. Now, this is again not there for your exam. Make friends with map. Okay, now, uh, though this is not there, but if you see the remaining part on page 54 is related to this map. So if you do not understand the map, it will not really uh, help you to understand then you'll have to sit and mug up the answers and therefore i would like to take this part as well so the question look at the maps on page 54 look at the index for agriculture the symbols for coffee rice corn sugarcane cocoa rubber banana etc and also uh, the mining okay the you can say the minerals obtained in mining are also given by with the help of different symbols now in which part of brazil is coffee mainly produced so look out for the coffee symbol okay that is given here in blue and where do you find most of them you find mostly coffee growing in the south and southeastern part of brazil okay then which food crops are mainly grown in brazil now which one do you find is maximum look at the symbols you find soya bean almost everywhere you find coffee beans everywhere you find cocoa also everywhere okay and what about corn corn is uh, corn also is grown in the northern part so but mainly if you go to see we have rice we have corn sorry and we have soya bean okay <clears throat> these are and coffee you can add cocoa can also be added which will not be wrong now can you relate the production of these crops with the climate now what type of climate is needed for corn for soya bean for rice okay now rice normally requires 
hot and humid climate therefore you find rice cultivation look at the symbol for rice you find them in the coastal regions where there is hot and humid climate and they need good supply of water okay so at least in the beginning stages they need a lot of water because the rice uh, has to be the crop has to be cultivated in water for corn corn does not require much water and grows in the central part so you find corn mainly growing in the central part where it is dry okay so if you look at central brazil going a little bit towards northern brazil as well but most of it is grown in central central brazil which does not require much of water and soya bean requires 15 degrees celsius temperature therefore soya is mainly grown in the southern part of brazil okay so northern part uh, where is the rubber plantation concentrated now look at the symbol for rubber most of the rubber you find in the amazon river basin so in the northern part of brazil then uh, we need to complete the chart which is on page 53 which i will not take in detail because this is not there for the exam okay so if you want you can take a screenshot and you can note it down so food crop rice and corn mainly is food crop now cocoa coffee they come as cash crops okay so therefore coffee cocoa rubber and sugar cane you cannot eat them as it is as food and therefore they come as cash crops okay then major occupations in brazil i will take in the next video so till then keep watching keep studying take care and god bless you